I'm two seconds in, man. <laughs> it's every time I sit down. Okay. Hi guys, so for today's video, I just wanna say, I have to start off by saying this, I'm actually filming on a brand new camera, so I'm not sure about the lighting, the quality, the audio. I probably should have done a little test shot before just like, jumping right in and filming, but my old camera is literally falling apart. Like it's, it's in order to close the door to hold the memory card in, I have to use painter's tape from Dollar Tree, no less, but like that's what's been happening for a good while now. So it was time to get a new camera, so we'll just see. Let me know what you guys think about the audio and the lighting and um, I'll definitely try to like fix it. So anyways, today's haul is absolutely epic. Um, I did not expect to find half of these things. I didn't even know they were like being released, to be honest. I do like to go to dollartree.com and kind of like see what's gonna come out for fall and Halloween, but I'm still realizing that every time I go in the store, I'm, I'm gonna find new stuff um, that I've not seen online. So that's what happened. So this is a must watch beginning to end because everything is amazing. So let's just jump in and I did, um, all of this is like in my mind, just like purely fall. So there's that. I mean, I have a couple of little things like this in here, but I was so shocked to find the foil die cut letters, but in black. So they have these in a lot of different colors, a lot of different like sheens and metallics and glitters. They also have it in different patterns, but this is the first time I'm actually seeing it in black. So I'm very excited about this. I thought it just kind of gave it a Halloween-y vibe for junk journaling. You can even pick these up if you wanna do some type of like holiday care package. These foil cut letters are amazing. So for $1.25, they're, they're just, they're a must in my opinion. I also picked up these um, fall leaf stickers. Now these are not brand new. They've been out for quite a while. And as a matter of fact, like my Dollar Trees will like keep them out year round, which kind of makes sense because I tell you guys about labels all the time and it really is a great guide into how to shop inside Dollar Tree. So when you look here, you get, you get the Crafter Square label with the green backdrop. So that's basically like Crafter Square every day, all year round label. I think they even do it in blue, but they'll switch up their colors when they're dealing with holiday collections. So you'll see it, I think kind of like in an orange for fall. So you can see this is not labeled orange for fall. So it's just kind of around, um, but very fall. So I would definitely pick these up. They're gonna be great. Again, for junk journaling, crafting, scrapbooking, all of those things, you can even um, make a bucket list, a fall bucket list using these, which I'm gonna share with you guys how to do that. I'm gonna DIY one, so stay tuned. That is going to be Saturday's video, so come back for that. Um, and these would be cute for that. Also, again, care packages. Um, yeah, so you can just like decorate the inside of the box with these. So I love those. And then I picked up these little fashion pens. I feel like it's been a while since I have picked up a set of these, but I love finding these at Dollar Tree. I've been hauling these fashion pens for my God, like six, seven years, maybe even maybe even since like the beginning of me doing hauls on YouTube from Dollar Tree. Um, they come in a pack just like this. They haven't even changed their packaging um, and you get three fashion pens to a set. Now this little set here with this pattern is completely brand new and I'm obsessed. The polka dots, the stripes, and then this like little grid pattern one. But can we talk about the center one that is just giving Beetlejuice? Obsessed, go find this, put this on your shopping list. And don't forget to leave your shopping list down below from like what you've seen in today's video that you're gonna buy. Cause I actually wanna see if some of you are gonna be on the lookout for this one. So comment and let me know. All right, now let's kind of get into like the real core fall items. Now, all the stores are still like putting stuff out, right? So um, this is really honestly not, probably not even the tip of the iceberg. 
but they put out these little like fall decors and they look like pine cones and then a little um why is the name escaping me uh, acorn i was gonna say chestnut but like acorn so and they have them in silver and they have them in this like copper color which is so pretty so i got both of like the combinations so the silver and i actually don't decorate in silver it's um a little modern and i'm not really modern i'm more antique -y and vintage and so i think this one would really work well in my decor kind of hoping that there's like a gold option but actually this is really pretty too yeah, I really like it. And I'm sure there's like even a way to distress this. Um, would you do with like nail polish remover or alcohol? I don't know, comment and let me know how to properly kind of distress this and give it more of an antique age look. Um, Cause I think I'll want to do that for sure. And all right, so that's that bag. And my bags are soaking wet because I got caught in a major, major storm. You should have seen me. You should have seen me get into my car with all the bags were like on my arms. So it wasn't like I could smoothly slide them off. So I get in thinking this is like the way to do this. No one cares about this story. <laughs> I'm going to keep telling it. Um, but it's pouring you guys. I mean, pouring and I'm already soaked like two seconds in. So anyways, I throw, throw open my car door. I get in, but then I'm stuck trying to get all these bags off. So by the time I turn around and pull my door shut, my door is just flooded, just flooded. Anyways. Yeah. Okay. It was a mistake. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have got in like that, but there it is. All right. So what? Oh my gosh. Where? Where do I go next? All right, actually, I picked up some Crafter Square, the little wiggly eyes. Here's that label in blue. This is what I talk about. Their label colors do mean something. So these are just, again, they're everyday labels. I don't think necessarily holiday related, but actually, are the green ones fall? Because their blue one is their everyday label. I don't know. I need, I need to look into this, but regardless, um, I got these little packets of wiggly eyes. They're great for crafting Halloween, all those fun bits and baubles. Um, so there's that. Also, I get questions on the daily now when my next junk journal mystery kits are getting released August 1st, and it's going to be a fall kit and a Halloween mystery kits, two different kits. So stay tuned for that. Um, all right, let's get into some of my favorite holiday items, which are their like window clings. So they put these out with the turkey, the leaves, and the pumpkins. Now these are not new prints at all. They've this set has been around for a few years now, but honestly, as they should be. I think I would be really sad. Um, okay, sad's maybe a stretch. I would probably be like disappointed. I would certainly be looking for them every year. And if I didn't find them, I'd be like, oh man, that sucks because they are so good. Cause I do pick these up every single year. They're just great again for so many things and look how big they are. So they're actually going to be amazing for care packages. Like your care package is going to look adorable when you use these. Um, you could do a little bit of glue stick and maybe even hot glue, especially if you're putting them straight onto the shipping box itself, like the cardboard, I would go for some hot glue. But these stick really well to craft paper with like a little bit of glue stick. And sometimes not even that, like the adhesive that's already on here is pretty strong. So I love those, the little Thanksgiving turkey, super cute. And then all these are like little extra pieces and then also great again for crafting, scrapbooking, journaling. I mean, I use lots of big images, honestly, and a lot of my journaling, like I don't care how big it is. So there's that. You can also like cut them down to size as well. Okay, where do I go next? Let's stick with the window clings because they also have them in this format as well, which also some of my favorites. Oh, another thing that I do with these, um, advent calendars. 
they stick to the lunch bags so well. Um, but these, you guys pick these up. And you know what's really interesting about me is that they are marketed as win window clings. But when I normally think of actually using them for the window, and this is just me, I'm not saying there's like one specific way to do this, but for me, I think children, you know, I think fun for kids to stick stuff on the windows and decorate and be part of the decorating process. However, when you look at the actual product, it's giving more adult. So it kind of makes me wonder if like Dollar Tree knows that a lot of us will use these for crafting, right? So look how gorgeous this is. You get the PSL. Look at that. And they come off so easily. Again, a little dab of glue stick and into your journals and they stick so well. So super cute image on that one. Here is this one. Run to get these. I would kind of think that these would be on a lot of y'all's shopping lists in the comment section. So I'll see. I'm going to scroll through. I got doubles because I really liked it. I like the bowl of apples and I like how muted the colors are. Again, see, like I don't think children would find this set exciting. You know, they're going to want something cartoony and bright and vibrant. So I definitely think Dollar Tree marketed these for adults, which I mean, even as an adult, if you want to slap them on the windows, like, you know, do that. Super cute. Love it. But for me, I definitely think of them more as crafting in this one with the truck, the gorgeous pumpkins, and they'll also work in a care package as well if you want to go this route. This one, give thanks. I love the little mushroom mushrooms, and why did that word seem weird? Do you ever say certain words on, on a day and you're like, wait, is that it? Like one day I was like that, that is what? I didn't recognize the word at all, but um, Anyways, mushrooms. No, that's right. And then a little fox. So cute. Or all like the woodland animals. Absolutely darling. And then all the little like pieces of leaves and pumpkins. So cute. I just can't deal. You knew I was going to get a second one. If you're new to my channel, if you see double, that means I just love it. It's top of the top, favorite. And then here's this one. Wait, that one, yeah, it's a double as well. That one you saw earlier. Here's more mushrooms again. You gotta also pay attention to like the prints because you could be seeing them in other things. Um, actually, yes, there's gonna be another Dollar Tree haul coming soon and I got something else that has mushrooms. So it must be a print that Dollar Tree's like rotating through the store and then here's this one, just a good traditional fall so cute love it yeah these are my number like one of my number one favorites from holidays for halloween fall valentine's day fourth of july christmas the window clings i cannot not have them in my life all right next up you know they did it dollar tree said you know what y'all are doing these diys we'll like we'll help you out for those of for those of us that don't want to really like you know get too too crafty it's like not our thing whatever it is i've actually have made the diy books myself so i will link a video down below but here it is um i'm gonna go ahead and open so we can kind of see it outside of the packaging um so like this one in particular doesn't have the little bow around it, which is really nice because like if the bow is not your thing, you know, there it is. Or you could actually add one yourself and kind of like upscale it a little bit. So if you wanted to, um, hopefully I've been looking in the directly at you instead of the viewfinder because the viewfinder is like to the left now instead of to the top of the camera. So I'm not used to it. Um, if you wanted to kind of give it a little more of a kick, um, I would switch out the bow and do maybe a little bit of a bigger bow. So I love this one with the apple. I need to see more fall apples, Dollar Tree. Like I gotta have the apples in my life. So hopefully they're gonna give us more apples. And then this one, and again, look at the variety that they're giving us. Pumpkin spice and everything nice. This one is going to probably be, I think the crowd favorite. 
the bow is hanging on for like dear life. It just needs to be reapplied. Um, but I would switch out the bow. I would, and I would probably do a white bow just to kind of pull from this font. But I do like the way that they did the gingham orange there too. So, y'all, what, wait, what is going on at Dollar Tree? So pretty. All right, so I found those. I'm just gonna reach over here and try to get those there. All right, but that's not all. Let's get into the signs because I just, I bought a bunch because I just had to show you guys everything. And I didn't even get honestly half of what is already getting stocked. So I can't imagine like when the full collection comes out, but here is probably one of my top faves. Farm Fresh Fall with the truck. I love that this truck keeps coming back. I just, I'm personally not sick of it, at least not yet. Another one of my favorites. I think this is actually gonna be number one. I'll let you guys know which my which one my number one is after I look through all of them again. But there's some like additional layering going on here. So it's really nice. There's just a lot of like depth to this for a dollar twenty-five. Like let's not forget. Um, because Hobby Lobby, this would be not a dollar twenty-five. Here's this one. And then these are all like a flat image, but the family is like an additional like layer. Not one of my favorites, but I still thought it was cute. Here's another really good one. Like this rivals TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Hobby Lobby. I love everything about it. I love the trim that they did here. And then the font, it's perfection. Then they did this set. So I got both of them. But you already know, this one's my favorite of the two. So, love that, love the apples. I'm here for it, I'm hoping. I'm hoping this is another indicator that we're gonna see apples, cause it's always like pumpkins, which is great, love the pumpkins. And then this set, which definitely looked familiar, it might actually be identical to what they did last year, um, but I said, let me pick it up again. Cause I have not brought all my stuff down from the attic, so. It doesn't even matter. It does not even matter if this has been around for the past two years. I mean, they definitely did something very similar last year. Again, if not the same exact product. The question is, is the wording new? You know, that's that kind of thing. So we on this one, we've got the apple orchard and pumpkin pie. And then we have more of a pumpkin spice latte coffee going on here. Stunning. You get yourself a little like picture stand um, which they sell at Dollar Tree and prop this up, tuck it in the corner of like a kitchen or uh, an entryway table and it's gonna look beautiful. Also in the center of a wreath, I think this would just be the best place for it. It's going to look so luxe and yeah. So um, my number one favorite, ooh, ooh, that's gonna be a hard one. It's kind of between, well, Honestly, these two, I'm just gonna tie them at number one. But if I had to pick, like if you're like, oh my God, pick one. If you're like, you know, cause sometimes I want people to like just pick one. I would say this one would be number one. All right, so those are all of the signs that I found. And then I also found some little like wood decors. So let me just pop them out of the bag because some of them go together. Yeah, those go together. Okay, those go together. So I found this little set of four, little shadow boxes. Dollar Tree's done this for a while, but these are like new prints, I believe. This one is the best in my opinion. This is my favorite. And when I say the best, I just think of like my particular decor. So I tend to forget like people do different styles, but like this one would fit best with my style. And then here's this one, gather. And then, yeah, see like I just don't use this like light blue. And then autumn is calling. The black plaid is gorgeous. And if you actually like, let's say you also don't like blue. You know how easy it would be to pluck this pumpkin off, 
pick whichever one you like best, like this one or like this one, and you switch them out. Yeah, let's do it on camera. So you gotta be careful because you can tear the little papers, but let's see. Yeah, it's really hard. You've gotta really, and I'm just like going for it, but definitely take your time removing the little pumpkin. So then I just hot glue it back in, but like, look at that. And then you can just switch them out, you know? You can just put that one there. I think it looks so much better, but that's just me. So easy to kind of do that. And then I found this set, super cute too. It's fall y'all, love that, and beyond blessed with the sunflowers, super cute. The little shadow boxes are my personal favorite. And we're down to the last items, which I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show them. I hope to God Dollar Tree watches these hauls because yes, Yes, they need to come out every single year. And I am, I've never been more surprised in my life at Dollar Tree. I, and that's saying a lot because I'm surprised on the daily, on the weekly at the store. We've got cherry pie. I love how retro 50s, 60s that I'm getting from this. It's very plain, you can see. But if you wanted to like extra DIY this and kind of like create a frame, I'm sure your mind is reeling with ideas. Um, but here's the cherry pie. Just gonna let you guys look at that one for a second. And then you know the apple pie is my favorite. Are they actually giving, they are actually giving ingredients in here. And then we have pumpkin pie, which is also all of them. They're like, honestly, I'm putting apple pie at number one, but then coming in second are the rest of them. They just all tie in for second because they almost all tie in for first for me because they're just that good. Pecan pie. Honestly, I can't stop staring at them through the screen. Okay, the most epic thing. I think, <laughs> I don't know how Dollar Tree is honestly gonna top themselves, after, but they will and they always do. And that's what I love so much about this store. Um, and, yeah, and it honestly, like, I'm not trying to get like all mushy, but because I get to like do this and do videos for you guys, because you watch all my content, you're the ones like making it possible for me to do these hauls. I just thank you because I honestly love this store so much. And being able to just like be on camera and show you guys my favorite things, like it's on, it's like, the highest high like of life for me <laughs> but anyways so is the, is the lighting going down what's, what's going on did it go down or is it just on my viewfinder i don't know i'm gonna find out through editing but that's it drop your shopping list down below again let me know what from this haul you have to find and pick up for yourselves and that's it thank you guys so much for watching come back tomorrow because i'm going to show you how we're going to create our fall bucket list. It's going to be so fun and I'll see you there. Bye.